Hello, it's www.carburetorsandmore.com out here in this hot, sweaty Texas morning, almost noon, testing out this AFB Carter carburetor for Lincoln. According to one book, they had this carburetor in 59, then they didn't put it back on there until, I believe, somewhere in the 60s, and they had them clear up to 68, high as my book would go. This particular carburetor. Of course, they got different numbers, I meaning, you know, which would indicate, you know, like the year, but they're all the same. This one has the heat choke with a heat tube, and as you know, these things never did work, even when they were new. So we encourage you to let us put electric choke on there for just the cost of the parts. Okay, here we go. We're going to start it up, and you'll see the thing just runs fabulous. They're, they're a smooth. This thing here is, this is the one, this was the pattern that they made your uh, Edelbrock from. You know, AFB sold out to, uh, they, I believe they sold out to uh, Federal Mogul Bearing Company. That they, they sold it out. I'm not sure how Edelbrock ended up with it, but anyway. Uh, this, 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 is a, this is a copy. I mean, not this is a copy. This is the one that they use. Anyway, we're going to rev it up and make sure the barrels work. Then we're going to go back and we're going to put it in gear. And this puts a load on it, just like you're driving it down the road. Isn't that cool? Alrighty. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Here we go. We're driving it down the road. We put a load on there, we estimate the weight of the car that's going to go on, then we double that load. So it'll be just like driving down the road, pulling the car, big Lincoln, with a flat tire on it. Yes sir, 832-221-4007, boy she's purling like a kitten. That is really nice. Nice fuel mileage. We go ahead and give them a chrome powder coat, make them look kind of nice, better than that other Mickey Mouse looking gray. But there it is. <laughs> 